Hello and welcome to the Winamp playlist tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do today is show you a few different ways to create and edit a playlist. Um, I'm also going to show you how Winamp can dynamically suggest a playlist for you based off of a song selection. And finally, how you can shuffle your entire music library. So let's get started. If you go to your Bento skin, which is what you see here, I'm on the Media Library tab. And from this tab, you'll see a bunch of major headings like local media, remote media, playlist, etc. If you, if you find playlist, right click on it and select new playlist. It's going to pop up in a dialog box so you can uh, type in whatever name you'd like. I'm going to call this test. And as you can see uh, in the left nav here, my playlist uh, has just showed up. So now all I need to do is just add some content to this playlist and we're ready to go. Um, you can select multiple tracks and then drag them in at once. Um, you can also hold down control and select uh, various songs. Again, you just click on one of them, drag it into test and it will add it. Also, if you have a really large media library and you don't feel like scrolling through and searching for uh, the song, you can actually type it into the, uh, the search box here. Uh, I'm going to type in a song called The Distance by Cake and it found it. So I'm going to grab that song and add it to my uh, add it to my test playlist. Uh, when I'm done, I'm going to hit clear search and that will bring me back to all my songs. And I'm going to just add a few more songs in here so we can play around with those as well. So when I'm done adding songs to the, to the playlist, if I click on the title of the playlist, um, it's going to take me to the, the page so I can see you know, that I've added seven songs here. I can uh, rearrange the order of these songs. I can delete songs. Obviously, I can add songs. So if I wanted to get rid of song number four, I just select it, hit delete, and that's going to take it out of the playlist. So it's no longer in the playlist, but obviously that song does still exist uh, in my media library. Another great thing about um, Winamp's playlisting ability is the fact that you can add songs to your playlist that don't necessarily uh, reside on your um, local machine, so in your media library. So an example of this is if I'm on the Now Playing um, page, and I've searched for a band that I really like, and I hear one of their songs, uh, I can actually potentially add that song to my playlist. So I'm going to search for a band called Arches of Loaf, and let's see what it finds. So once the page loads, I'll see these um, tabs across the top, make sure I'm on the Songs tab, and here's going to give a listing of different songs uh, by this particular artist. Let me click on uh, this song here called The Lowest Part is Free. And I have the volume turned down, but you can see that the song's playing um, the title of the song as well as the name of the band is scrolling across the top here. If you right click on that, you can select Send To, and then you can either create a new playlist or you can select Media Library Playlist and then select the name of uh, the playlist you just created, in this case, Test. So I select test, and now I go to uh, my playlist. And as you can see, song number seven is a song um, that I just searched for and now playing. This song doesn't exist in my local library. It's just playing the streaming URL. And I can you know, add that to the playlist. If you happen to know the streaming URL from your playlist, if you hit Control L, that's going to pop this uh, dialog box here where you can type in um, the streaming URL for any song that you'd like to play, and they will add it to your playlist. So if you want to actually now play your playlist once you've constructed it, all you do is uh, double click. And before I do so, I just wanted you to take notice of this text box here. This is the playlist editor. So when I double click on the playlist, you're going to see that this box here just populated with all the songs from um, my playlist. This box again is called the playlist editor. So from here I can again rearrange some of the songs. I can add additional songs to it if I go to my media library. Uh, I can pick any song I'd like and add it to this particular playlist. And in fact I can delete songs from this playlist as well. If you notice however, um, the test playlist that I created, um, those songs are still there. There's still seven songs in here where there are only five songs in the playlist editor. 
So the playlist editor really is more of a kind of current listing or an active listings of, of songs that you've selected. The playlist here is, is actually the, the saved uh, playlist that you created. So let me actually clear out uh, the playlist editor to show you another way you can create a playlist. So originally all I did was right click on playlist here, select new and created my playlist. I can also do it um, from the playlist editor as well. So let me select my media library. I can grab a couple songs from here and I just drag into this playlist editor. And this is more of a temporary playlist editor. When I close down um, or delete these songs, the playlist is, is no longer there. However, if I wanted to save this playlist, uh, I have two options or two ways I can save this playlist that I've created in the playlist editor. If I click right, or if I do a right click in the playlist editor box, I can select send to, and then I can send this to um, my media library, or I can send this to a new playlist. So I can create a new playlist right from here. Also, what I could do, um, if I wanted to import these songs or send them as well, a different way to do it is by going to playlist, hitting right click, and then import active or current playlist. And what that will do is again, it will import all of these songs from this playlist editor um, as a saved playlist. And it gives it a default name of imported playlist. All I, can, all I have to do if I wanted to rename that was right click and then I can rename that to whatever I want. I'll call that test two. So that's a pretty quick and simple way of uh, manually creating playlists of your favorite songs. You also have uh, the ability with Winamp to, to create a dynamic playlist of sorts. So if you find um, a particular song that you like or a band that you like, um, in this case, I'm gonna look for a Foo Fighters song. Um, if I select that song, um, right click on it, I can select, uh, I have a couple of options. And what I wanna do is play track similar to this one and what Winamp will do is it will scan your library. If you haven't done this before, it might take a while. There's a plugin by GraceNote that will scan your media library and offer suggestions for you. And so as you can see, it just uh, populated my playlist editor with seven song choices that were similar to this um, song that I selected. So if I ended up really liking this playlist, again, this is just in the playlist editor. It's not a permanent playlist. If I did really like it, I could save that by right clicking again, um, selecting send to new playlist, and I'll call this one test three. So there you go. Those are the three different ways you can create playlists within Winamp. Uh, the first one by just right clicking, the second one by manipulating songs or ordering songs in the playlist editor, and the third is by right clicking on one of your songs and dynamically creating a suggested playlist through the GraceNote plugin. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you, uh, let me go ahead and just hit pause on this song. And I'm going to clear out this playlist that we just created from the playlist editor so you can see what I'm doing. So this is now empty. If I go to um, the media library tab again and double click on audio, what's going to happen is all of the songs from my media library are going to be populated into uh, the playlist editor. So I'll double click. And, oops, sorry, as you can see, every song from my media library, I think I have like over 200 songs, are, are now in this playlist editor. And if I wanted to, uh, as you can see, it's actually already playing. If I wanted to shuffle the songs, I click uh, this button here, which is the toggle playlist button, and it will turn blue to let you know that it's actually on. So now it's playing song one. If I click to the next track, it's going to shuffle it, and now it's playing track 100. So that's the quick way of shuffling songs from Winamp. Um, again, just to summarize, all you do is double click on your audio, or basically your media library for just your audio tracks. When you double click it, it's gonna populate all of those songs into your playlist editor. And from there, all you have to do is hit the shuffle button. So hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.